Yo, what up, critters? How you guys doing over there in South Dakota? I'm Ken Staff LA. Today we're gonna do a how to align your sprocket with three piece cranks or on three piece cranks. Um, we're here on stackbmx.com social media. Um, like always, we're giving away free stuff on our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on another social platform, head over to youtube.com forward slash stackbmx.com and uh, enter our contest to win a free bicycle and some free parts. So you're gonna simply subscribe to this channel, like this video, turn on your notification bells, and then leave us a comment below and uh, to enter our contest. But hang tight, because later on in the video, we're gonna tell you what you're gonna win, um, how to win, and how to bring your chances to actually win. So um, yeah, let's get to it and talk to you and uh, show you how to align your sprocket uh, perfectly straight to um, make your sprocket last longer, your chain and your actual wheel last longer. Okay, so um, yeah, starting off with a set of cranks, uh, a set of cranks already in here, already got the bottom bracket in here. There's no spacers or anything on it. Um, this is simply just showing you how to uh, put your sprocket on and make sure it's aligned correctly. So um, kind of already did a lot of the stuff already um, to help us out with that. Um, but uh, yeah, you're gonna need a sprocket, you're gonna need a hat washer. Most uh, sprockets come with multiple ones here, and then it comes with uh, sprocket spaces, uh, I mean, uh, crank spaces like this, um, usually in different uh, thicknesses, and then it also usually comes with a dry side cone. Um, so yeah, let's kind of get to it. Um, first thing um, you wanna do is make sure that your wheel is uh, dished right, and actually in the center of the frame. So what I did was we this built wheel's already built up. Um, I slammed it completely forward so that it hits the end of the dropout on both sides. Made sure the chain tensioners were backed out all the way or not in there at all, so that this sits in the frame perfectly straight. Uh, they use a jig to to put these frames together, and the the jig is usually straight the straightest. So having it pushed all the way back usually makes sure that your wheel is perfectly straight. If you look at this tire here, um, can't really see it from the video, but I guarantee it's really right in the middle, perfectly center. Um, if you have the trouble of actually having to uh, loosen one bolt and push this wheel to the side, um, you have some other problems, I'd suggest you figure that out first uh, before you attempt this because um, you're actually destroying your bike and making um, your bicycle ride you know, really, really bad and kind of ride like shit. Um, so if your wheel's dished to the one side and you gotta push it over, uh, your wheel's not trued up to the center of your frame or the the lock nuts right here. Do that so that this wheel's perfectly straight. Put that in there perfectly straight so your hub's perfectly straight. Um, if you don't, what it's gonna do and you push it to the side, it's gonna cock eye your, your actual driver like this. And no matter what you do, it's not gonna be straight. It's gonna grind out these teeth. It's gonna mess up your chain and then uh, jack up your, your sprocket. So do that so that you know how much distance is here uh, from here to here. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, next thing you need to do is um, try to determine if you got a free coaster or a cassette. Um, a lot of old school guys like us, we used to do deal with a lot of free wheels, um, stuff like that. Uh, cassette started coming out, but if you rode 15, 20 years ago and you're still riding today, I notice a lot of you guys love this washer. Um, to be honest with you, I hate you customers because you guys are pain in the ass. Okay, the only way this one works is if you're running 24 millimeter cranks and you don't have a hot washer. The reason why is because with the new cassettes and the new free coaster, this driver actually sits in a lot farther on this hub. You don't have threads on it, you don't have a free wheel, so it's not a lot thicker or much thicker and it's not uh, putting the teeth way out here. So um, on a lot of free wheels, the, the sprocket is out here and yes, you definitely need this. but. Bikes are different now, and you don't really need this, so you know what I mean? all I can say is fuck this washer, get rid of that thing. First of all, if you get rid of that thing, it's gonna help solve a lot of problems. It's gonna help you get to the place that you wanna get right away. Um, I see a lot of customers that do come in here, they do have that washer, they are adamant about it, um, they have everything correct, but their chain alignment never goes straight, and they're always wondering why. That's the reason why. Get rid of that junk, um, worth nothing. Um, so next off, um, what we're gonna do, and the only reason I'm telling you that is from my experience on a lot of these new bikes is that I always end up throwing them away because they are over more. So we're gonna start with this, determine what spindle you have. This one's a 22 millimeter spindle. You don't need the crank arms to do this. Um, a lot of people wanna put the crank arms on and stuff like that, 
what that does is cause a lot of hell. You got to take them off and then try it out again. And you're just spending two hours on putting on a set of cranks. Like that's BS. You know what I mean? Get, get out of your old ways, try this out. And I guarantee this will help you out. So you're going to want to start with this hat washer because you definitely need this in there to fit onto this actual spindle to get rid of, rid of the play. Um, first off, I'm going to do this, but I know for sure that this isn't the way to do it, but I'm going to put it on with no spacers. And if you notice the teeth are really close to the actual chain stay. If you have a 28 tooth sprocket, it's going to probably hit. Um, that's definitely way too far in. Um, they got these different spacers right here um, to kind of space it farther out or farther in. Um, what I like to do is we're probably just going to need this actual thin spacer here. So this was a two 2.5 millimeter spacer. Um, so that's all you're going to need um, for here. Make sure you grease these anywhere that metal touches metal. And you're just going to put it on there. And what that's going to do is it's going to line it you know, I mean, pretty dang close to this. Um, you can kind of see it from there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of, you're going to want to eyeball it from here. So you're going to want to eyeball it, you know, I mean, down on here, all the way down the sprocket. But you know, when pulling it up, you can see right there that it's pretty close. I'm going to twist this back and just check for myself. And uh, yeah, it's relatively close. The easiest way to tell if it's in the right position or not um, is to uh, just look down the rear of your cog like so, and then look down it as well on the sprocket, and you can see if it's it's perfectly straight or lined up. And you want to kind of move to one side like so. So you're going to want to kind of, let me see if I hit it. So you're going to want to lean to one side, see how much you can see, lean over to the other side, and you're going to see the different sides of the sprocket and when you get perfectly in the center over that rear, rear cog and it lines up perfectly with that, that's where you need to be. I just did that, that thing lines up perfect. Um, another trick I wanna show you what I like to do is if I'm not too sure, maybe my eyes crooked that day, um, what I wanna do is I wanna get a chain and you don't have to put the chain on, but um, you can just kinda of get it close. But uh, you know what I mean? Put it, Leave the chain out, you don't have to put it on completely, but what I like to do is actually string the chain on the actual sprocket, or actual uh, driver on the back, and then I want to put the chain on and then put the sprocket on, and then put a little bit of pressure on the sprocket like this so it sits flat, and then you want to put a little tension on the chain, and when you put tension like that, you can look down it and actually see if the chain is kicked to one side or kicked to the other. If you do that, you'll know once you put the crank arm on, that it'll actually line up and be straight. If you end up putting the crank arm on and it's hitting the chain stay and stuff like that and you need to move it out, uh, that's a big red flag that your cranks are bent. Most cranks uh, should clear your chain stays right here, but if it's hitting um, on your chain stay and you need to put more washers on it, do what you gotta do to ride, but you're jacking everything up from your chain to the rear cog to the front sprocket, and I would definitely suggest buying new cranks. Uh, stop being stubborn. You're gonna spend a lot more, more money because you're gonna get, have to get new cranks anyways, and you're gonna constantly be uh, repairing this rear hub, um, swapping out the chain, and destroying every single sprocket that you buy. But using the chain right there helps you out a lot, figure out where you need to uh, center the sprocket. If you need to come out a little bit or go in a little bit, uh, take out one of the washers, maybe put a thinner, uh, washer in there or put a little bit thicker washer in there to align your sprocket straight but use those little techniques I think those will help you out significantly um, on straightening or aligning your sprocket to be perfectly in the center and uh, you know what I mean don't forget to throw out that big giant washer um, that's on your cranks because that's definitely probably what's uh, making your chain alignment way off I notice a lot of people's chain it are really far out this way and that's because they got that um, these, these are sealed bearings. You don't need that, that little cover. Technically, that cover does jack to, to your actual bearings. All it is is riding on the race. There's definitely space for dust to get in there and actually touch the dust seal of your bearings, but you have sealed bearings, so the dust isn't going to get in there. So, yeah, you're, seal, you're sealed and taken care of either way. So, yeah, that's it for um, how to align a BMX sprocket with three-piece cranks. And... You know what I mean? I hope that helped you guys out, helped you, helped you figure out how to straighten your sprocket and uh, what you got to do to make your sprocket perfectly aligned. So uh, yeah, if you hung tight and you want to enter our YouTube channel and you're watching this on another social media, 
head over to youtube.com forward slash stacked BMX. Um, enter our contest by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, turn on your notification bells, and then leave us a comment below. Let us know what you like about this video, what you don't like about this video. Um, just let us know anything um, that you want to know about BMX and stuff like that, and we'll do our best job to help you out and figure out those problems and uh, head you in the right direction. So uh, yeah, do that to enter the contest. At 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free Stranger Parts package filled with a pair of tires, a pair of grips, and a seat, um, which we already at 2,500 subscribers, so we're gonna give it away any day now, just gotta pick the winner. Um, but uh, yeah, and then at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free bicycle retailed at 289.95. And to grant your chances of winning that stuff, all you gotta do is head over to some of our old videos, Comment on there as well, just like this video that I into you multiple times. We're gonna select one video out of random and then select comment one comment out of that, that video out of random and that's gonna uh, be the winner. So if you wanna greet your chances, I definitely suggest you comment on as many videos as you can. But um, yeah, that's it for our how-to on how to align your, your sprocket on your three-piece cranks. Um, like I said, I hope this helped you guys out. I hope this helped you fix your bike and make it run a little bit smoother. Um, thanks for watching us. If you want to check us out on social media, head over to uh, our Instagram at Stack BMX Shop. Check out me at Can't Stop LA. If you prefer Facebook, head over to facebook.com forward slash Stack BMX. Once again, thank you very much USA for watching us. Thank you very much for you guys that are watching us all over the world. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for supporting Stack BMX. We'll see you next time. Peace out.